Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about fractals. Fractal irregularity. So what's a fractal? Small part of a whole system. Okay, here's the key. It's a small part of the whole system. The definition, non-regular geometric shapes that has the same degree of irregularity on all scales. There's the key words right there. Irregularity on all scales. Room modal pressure. Fundamental 40 produces 80, 120, 160, 200 issues in the harmonic range. Room reflections, primary, secondary, tertiary. Room distortions are pressure and reflections. They're a part of a whole system. So they're a fractal. And the irregularity of the fractal is consistent and predictable. Okay, that's the key here. Rectangular rooms. Let's take a rectangular room as an example. People say they sound the best. And there's even been studies that show that they do sound the best. Be interesting to see what the design parameters of the study were. But anyway, you could measure, obviously, for distortion. But there's a subjective component uh, to uh, listening and music, too. So we have to take all that into consideration. Rectangular rooms are predictable and consistent in their issues, in their problems, in their irregularities, because their walls are parallel, their dimensions are fixed. So there's a lot of predictability and consistency, which is always welcome when you're treating those issues, OK? If we know where there are and they're consistent throughout the room, we can apply that kind of treatment to that particular issue, right? Treatment coverage is predictable and consistent. Type, amount, position. Proper rates and of levels of absorption are predictable and consistent. Diffusion frequency response and distance is predictable and consistent. Distortions are part of a complete system, a complete room acoustic system, if you will. And those irregularities are predictable and consistent at the same degree throughout the whole system. So that's what a fractal is. It's a small part of a bigger picture. And I think that's where people are missing the understanding of acoustics. They don't understand that there's a lot of small parts contributing to a lot of, of big issues. A lot of small parts contributing to a lot of larger issues. And that's what you have to understand. Fractal is a small part that's irregular, but it's predictable and consistent in its irregularity. And that's what we have to understand about room acoustics. Distortions are part of a complete system, cons consistent and predictable throughout the whole room. And that's what we have to go after. We have to go after that with the proper coverage of treatment, the proper rate and level of absorption, the proper frequency response when we're using diffusion. Fractal irregularity. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.